Hey guys, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and in today's episode of Bunches of Lunches, I'm sharing lots of hot lunch ideas, and no sandwiches allowed, so stay tuned. I'm kicking things off with lunch idea number one, and we'll call this one Hidden Veggies, because I'm gonna start by making some mac and cheese, but not just any mac and cheese. Today, we're testing out the new Kraft macaroni and cheese with cauliflower added to the pasta. And I'm not sure if the kids will like it, we shall see. As I'm throwing this mac and cheese together, I don't really notice anything different or weird about it. It just looks like regular mac and cheese. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this mac and cheese into my preheated thermoses and quickly screw the lid on tight. That way the mac and cheese will stay hot until lunchtime. Next up, I'm gonna throw in some yogurt. This is a mango flavored yogurt from Trader Joe's. It's one of the kids' favorite flavors. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna go with some broccoli florets. To encourage them to eat the broccoli, I will go ahead and give them a little bit of ranch to dip in. For our fruit today, I'm gonna throw in a handful of blueberries. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little pick just for fun, and I'm not gonna forget to pack a spoon. They'll definitely need that for the mac and cheese and the yogurt. Now in this last section, I have our treat for the day, which is gonna be these guys. These are called Tim Tams, and they're a chocolate biscuit. These cookies come all the way from the land down under. That's right, Australia. They come in lots of different flavors, but I'm partial to the mint ones. And last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in this bag of pretzels. These are the mini pretzel crisps. They are really good. Okay guys, I'm gonna get this all packed up and after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, lunchtime is over now and I have Mackenzie and Lily here with me. What'd you girls think? It was good. Yeah. Did you like the mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. I got a secret for you. This mac and cheese had cauliflower in it. No, it did Yeah, it did. See this box? Could you taste cauliflower? No, not no. at all. I actually tasted this myself and I didn't taste any veggies. This was definitely thumbs up. What was your favorite part? Um, the candy. The can't? You mean the cookie? Yeah. The Tim Tam? Yeah. Yeah, those are so good. So Great job today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number two. I'm super excited about this one. It's something I've never made the kids before. For this lunch, I'm starting with some pre-cooked ground turkey meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some no salt taco seasoning. I'm gonna give that a stir. Next, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of mild taco sauce and then pop it in the microwave. Now that my turkey is piping hot, it's time to get it into my preheated thermoses. To go along with our taco salad, I'm also going to chop up some tomato and chop some lettuce. For our fruit today, I'm gonna to give the kids three different kinds of melon, watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. Today, I'm gonna to throw in these extra large picks for the kids to use. And then for our vegetable today, I'm gonna to try giving the kids jicama one more time. Last time they weren't fans. Let's see if any of them have changed their minds. So I'm gonna add my lettuce in here, my chopped tomato. I'm also adding some shredded cheddar cheese. And in these cute little squeeze bottles that I got from the Dollar Tree, I have a little bit of sour cream. And to make it a little bit easier in the bottle, I've added some milk to the sour cream so it's a little bit thinner. To go along with these lunches, I'm also gonna add one small bag of Doritos. And then today I have a really special treat. This is arroz con leche, which is basically rice pudding. I think it's really good, but I'm not sure if all of the kids will agree with me. So when it's lunchtime, the kids are going to open their bag of Doritos, then they're going to crush all the chips. You definitely wanna crush your chips. It's gonna make your taco salad a lot easier to eat because you eat it right out of the bag. The bag becomes your bowl. So you're gonna add your meat in there, your lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, a little squirt of sour cream, and then you mix it all up. This is definitely something the kids have never had before. I think they're either gonna love it or hate it. And after lunch, we will find out. Lunch is over now. Okay guys, what do you think of today's lunch? It's cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I definitely think I needed to pack, I needed to pack less because there's some of everything left over. And Lily, did you even eat any of your meat? <laughs> no. What was your favorite part of today's lunch? My favorite part is the... Uh, 
The taco salad? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What about you, Lily? The rice pudding? Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. The melon was really good. You liked the fruit? But I definitely know which part you didn't like. This jicama was not a success. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number three. This one I'm calling the All-American Burger. This one's going to be a hamburger DIY. Today's burgers are actually going to be mini sliders. For the bread, I'm using some King's Hawaiian Rolls, but these are actually the savory butter rolls, not the sweet ones. I like them both, I just wanted to give these a try. Next up, I'm going to add some yogurt, but this time I'm going with the peach yogurt. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna to throw in some baby carrots. Normally, I like to cut my own carrots, but these are just so much easier. And I'm definitely gonna throw in some ranch to go with them. To go along with our burgers, I've sliced up some tomato. I'm gonna add in a mini dill pickle, and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my rolls in there. I'm gonna add in a cute little American flag pick. I had these left over from the 4th of July, so I was excited to use them. For the special treat today, I'm gonna go with just a few of these apple cinnamon yogurt covered pretzels. Next goes in our spoon. And now that the burgers are fully cooked, I'm gonna add them into my preheated thermos. And last but not least, we have our fruit of the day, which is gonna be one of these mini gala apples. So simple, but so tasty. Now this is definitely a lunch that kids, teens, and adults would enjoy. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. Right now I've got Lily and Mackenzie with me. Jackson, I'll go, go get Jack. Well, Mackenzie, what'd you think? It was really cool. Okay, we have Jack with us, say hi. Hi. So what'd you think of the make your own hamburger lunch? I liked it. What was your favorite part? Um, the hamburger. The hamburger. What about you, Lily? Um, the apple. The apple. But overall, I think lunch was a really good today. I would definitely make these DIY burgers again. And we'll see you tomorrow, friends. Next up, we have lunch idea number four. For this, I'm starting with some corn on the cob, and I've gone ahead and sliced it into little pieces, and I'm gonna throw these into some boiling water for just a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna chop up some fresh mango. I'm gonna add the mango to the lunch box, followed by the corn, and then I have something for the kids to try they've never had before, and I think these are called Doritos. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had these. My store had regular ones and they also had spicy, but I went with the regular ones. I think these are really cute because they look like a wagon wheel. Now just in case the kids aren't into them, I'm just gonna give them a few. And then for our special treat today, I'm going to give them just one little cookie. The kids have never had these before either. These are strawberry filled tartinas. In the thermos today, I'm going to add some leftovers. This is just Mexican style beans and rice. I have a really good recipe, I'll link it down below. Next, I'm gonna throw in just a couple more things. Some Go-Gurt Simples and some Kind Kids Bars. These are in the chewy honey oat flavor. We're back home now and here's what we ate. Well, I see that there's a little bit left in every in all of these boxes. What did you guys think? It was awesome. Lily, what was your favorite part? What did you really like? This. The mango? Yeah. You really like the mango? What about you, Kenzie? What was your favorite? The beans and rice. Yeah, that was really good. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, next up we have lunch idea number five, which is going to be breakfast for lunch. We love doing breakfast for lunch. So in the thermoses today, I'm going to add some ultimate scrambled eggs. To these scrambled eggs, I've already added some cheddar cheese, and now I'm gonna go ahead and chop in a little bit of bacon. This is the pre-cooked bacon. I'm such a fan of it, it's a big time saver. So I'm gonna chop that right into my eggs, followed by just a little bit of green onion. I love adding green onions to my eggs. I'm hoping that my kids will like it too. Okay, I'm gonna mix all of that together and then very quickly get it into my thermoses. To go along with our breakfast theme, I'm gonna throw in three mini pancakes and the kids are going to eat these cold. They're totally fine with that. And instead of giving them maple syrup to dip in, I'm gonna throw in something new today. This is a maple pumpkin butter. 
I found this at Sprouts and it's not very sweet. It's got a lot of cinnamon in there. It definitely has pumpkin spice as well. It'll be interesting to see whether the kids like it or not. And I do have a separate lid for this container that I'm gonna add right before I pack it up. For some added fun, I'm gonna dig through my container of picks. You guys don't even wanna know how many picks I have. It's a lot and sometimes it's hard to find just the one I'm looking for. For our fruit today, I'm gonna to throw in a combination of blueberries and raspberries. And then for our vegetable today, I'm doing a combination of celery and carrots. Again, I'm just trying to use up what we've got on hand before it goes bad. And then in this little area, I have just enough space to add my little ranch container. Now, if you're curious, I have a really good recipe for homemade ranch. I will link it down below. I know a lot of people in our Bunches of Lunches Facebook group, they have already made this ranch and they love it too. So definitely check it out if you're curious. And if you haven't already, come and join our Facebook group. We have over 3,000 friends in our group now and we all love to share our lunch creations. Time to see how they did. Not too bad today. What'd you guys think? It was awesome. It tasted really good. It was pretty delicious. What was your favorite part? I liked the pancakes and the eggs the most. Oh, you know I forgot? I was gonna put ketchup. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. That's okay. It was good without ketchup. But what did you think of the pumpkin butter? I liked it. I liked it. Really? It wasn't too spicy for you? No. no. I liked it. Okay, Lily, what was your favorite part? Um, I, I know, I think I can guess what your favorite part is. Is it the berries? Yeah. Yeah, you love fruit. The pancakes and the berries were the best. But what about the eggs? No. Yes, no. they're the best. I, th I didn't think that she would love the <laughs> eggs, but I'm glad that she ate most of them. We'll see you next week. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag Luna lunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.